The last time you went out to buy a PC or a laptop or even an Android phone these days, and sometimes people make this comparison on iPhones too, a big topic was how much RAM does that device have? But in order to answer exactly how much RAM you need in your device, you need to know what it does first. So let's discover what it is. RAM stands for Random Access Memory which is exactly what it sounds like. It's just memory that we access data from and store data in. Now, RAM goes really, really fast, 15 times faster than the fastest solid state drive and, well, hundreds of times faster than a normal hard drive. And that's good because when your PC boots up and then it loads Windows or Mac or whatever you've got on it, a lot of components from Windows and Mac will be loaded into the RAM. And that means when we need to access those components, because of RAM's insanely fast access speed, we can get access to them really, really quickly. So you can think of it as kind of a cache. It's just holding the stuff that we're most likely to use most often. And you'll really see where RAM comes in handy is where you have a device that has low RAM, let's say it has only one gigabyte on your PC, and then you'll have, in association with that, what's called a page file. And the page file is nothing more than RAM that's simulated on your hard drive. And that means your system is using both your RAM and a little bit of your hard drive as the RAM. And when that happens, you will notice your computer slowing down like crazy. And you'll scream at it and say, what are you doing? I don't know. So in order to answer that all important question, how much RAM do we need in a device? Well, that's answered by, first of all, how much RAM do you need for your operating system, generally speaking? And you can find that out on the internet. If you just look up Windows, Mac OS or Linux, Linux traditionally needs very little RAM. That's why Linux runs so well on older computers because they have little RAM. And then you also need to think about all of the extra bits and pieces that you'll be running on your computer. Like, you know, the stuff that sits in the taskbar or little watchdogs and stuff like that. And then also all of the software that you want to run on a consistent basis. So if you just want to run Microsoft Word occasionally, you don't need a lot of RAM. A PC with four gigabytes of RAM is enough. But if you want to run stuff like Premiere Pro, which is a video editing program, you'll need at least eight gigabytes and probably more to be on the safe side. So remember, RAM is nothing more than a cache of the things you want to load or work with from your hard drive, and that includes the operating system. So to find out how much you really want or need, you need to think about the things that you are going to use every day on your computer.